Now this video, I just want to talk about what is thiamine, as well as uh, talk about how it's beneficial. Now before I get started, down below, I'm giving away a free video-based guide all about uh, giving you tips on shopping for supplements, and as well as herbal medicines. Now, if someone doesn't have enough of this vitamin, then it can create a condition known as beriberi. In a nutshell, this condition can lead to an increase in heart rate, even heart failure. It can also lead to problems when it comes to muscles and uh, the nervous system. Now, a gentleman named William Fletcher, back in 1905, discovered there was something in the husk of rice, which is like the outer layer, that prevents this uh, this beriberi disease. And yeah. As, as you can probably imagine, it was thiamine, or what's known as B, vitamin B1. And that's how that's kind of what put this vitamin on the map. Um, then, in 1912, a gentleman named Casimir Funk took Fletcher's findings, as well as some evidence that there was there's something in oranges to prevent disease scurvy, and kind of connected the dots and created the term vitamin. That these 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 things that were just vital for life that we needed to survive. Um, B1 being the first B vitamin discovered, that's how it was named number one. Now this is a, a water-based vitamin and what that means it gets flushed out of someone's system easily so they need a constant supply of vitamin B1. Now a very large way the body uses this uh, nutrient is to convert carbohydrates um, into energy. It also plays a big role in creating hydrochloric acid which helps break down food in the digestive system. In fact this acid is so strong that if it wasn't for these mucous membranes in the um, digestive system, it would can eat through the stomach and actually, you know, eat away yourself, which is pretty wild and crazy. Now, next up is vitamin assist in controlling the flow of electrolytes in and out of cells and, and nerve muscles. It plays a role in, in nerve health and muscle health. In fact, that's why if someone doesn't have enough of this stuff, it can lead to problems uh, like heart rate problems, it can lead to fatigue, trouble with thinking, memory of course, and even some breathing issues. Now apart from somebody just needing this vitamin just to survive and just function normally, it actually provides some cool benefits which I want to share a few of them with you. One of them is actually helping with depression. A uh, scientist in the study that confirms this was um, a scientist at the Shanghai Institute of Biological Sciences actually looked at 1,500 men and women between the ages of 50 and 70. Uh, they used all these questions to determine you know, whether they were uh, had depressive issues or whatnot and, and measured the amount of thiamine in their diet. And the end result, the conclusion was that the, the, the people with the lowest thiamine intake were one and a half times more likely to suffer from depression. So there's a link there. And another really cool thing they can do is actually help out with vision, eyesight. And there's actually a study According to the United States National Library of Medicine, a, a study of 2,900 Australian men and women discovered that those who were at the top one-fifth of, of thiamine um, intake were actually 40% less likely um, to have nuclear cataracts than the one-fifth that, that took the least amount of this vitamin. So that's pretty cool, and of course you can always get this stuff uh, through like a dietary supplement, like a multivitamin, which is what I would recommend. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why, but um, the thing is, there's a lot of products out there. They all say they're the best, and it's kind of confusing. To make things a little bit easier for you, like I mentioned, I did create this whole video-based guide uh, that provides some tips on shopping for these products. It also goes over some alternative medicine, like, like detoxes, and other really cool things that you can do to, uh, well, help yourself out. It's awesome. It's free. It's a lot of fun. And I encourage you to learn more. Just click on the link uh, below this video. I really appreciate uh, your time. I, I hope uh, this video might have been helpful. And if you like it, please give me a thumbs up. All right, take care and talk to you later. Bye.